Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, and today we're going to do another OP8 raid guide, and this time it's going to be on Terramorphus with uh, Maya. Now, it's been a while, I'm sorry, my reason for it being such a long time uh, uploading these guides is because I am lazy. Yep, <laughs> I have no other excuse, I'm going to be completely honest, I am just lazy. So, yeah. So, basically, if you guys want to download the save for this uh, certain build, then you can go ahead and download it yourself in the description. It will be in PC format, so if you want to use it on Xbox or PS3, uh, you will have to convert the save. It's not too hard to do. I will link a tutorial down there, too. So, getting on with the build, today we're going to be using a basic Sandhawk build with a little extra trick to it. And uh, so we have the Grog Nozzle for healing and the Uncumped Herald for healing. So you shoot the Uncumped Herald, switch to the Grog, and get your health back. And then we have the Sandhawk, which is going to be our main damaging weapon, and the Lady's Fist. Now, if you didn't know, when you switch to the Lady's Fist, when the bullets are uh, still in the air, the bullets, when they hit, will actually get the extra 800% crit damage, which is a lot. 800% crit is going to really maximize your damage and make this kill so much faster, which is uh, really crazy. You'll see uh, coming up here, I'll show you that during the kill. And then, of course, Lady's Fist. And now the reason I didn't want to go with a slag lady's fist is because you guys might know about the element swap trick which I've shown in the past. But basically if I shoot the sandhawk even if it's fire and I switch to a slag lady's fist and start shooting it, those bullets from the sandhawk are going to convert to slag damage which is going to take away the fire bonus on the flesh target taking away that I think extra 8, no not 800, wow, 75% uh, extra damage which is uh, really bad so we don't want that so I made sure to just keep it fire to make it safe. And uh, yeah, then we have the B for the amp damage, and the bouncing bounty for slag, the bone of the engines for cooldown and uh, extra fire damage, and the legendary cap for the extra gun damage, and a bunch of good skills. So let's go ahead and go over the skill tree. So here's the spec I went into, and Maya's pretty straightforward, she doesn't have any like game breaking skills. Uh, pretty much all of the skills from the com are going to boost your gun damage, bullet speed, critical hit damage, fire rate, gun damage, magazine size, and more gun damage. Uh, so I'd recommend grabbing all those skills from the uh, cat com. And then everything else is kind of optional. The, uh, the only other two skills I would recommend is Quicken, which is going to give you 30% extra cooldown. And then Ruin, which is going to give you the Insta Slag on your raid bosses, which is uh, very nice because it's going to guarantee Slag on your raid boss, uh, which is going to give you times 3 damage. Uh, because as you know, raid bosses wash off Slag very fast and resist it heavily. So I'd recommend grabbing that and you should be set. So let's go ahead and get on with the fight. Okay, so first up, aim at the circle. We're going to throw a couple of bouncing bonnies in there as soon as his name pops up. Alright, now you want to aim above his head in the middle and shoot ahead of time. And that's where his crit's going to be as soon as he does his little cry there. And you can see there I swapped straight to the lady's fist and that's going to give me the 800% crit. And you can see there it just takes a massive amount of health away from him and he's pretty much just halfway dead which is pretty nice. And it uh, looks like I got hit there. Switch to the herald and shoot the uh, herald and then switch to the grog. Got our health back. And I like to sit back here because if you didn't know, when the uh, ground is shaking and you're standing on top of it, it stops your uh, shield recharge, which is stupid because um, it's going to break your V shield and you don't want that. So we're going to do it again there. And I'd recommend switching to the Lady Fist and take out these uh, guys as soon as they pop up. There we go. We should be good now. And now what you want to do here is hide behind this little rock here because you can dodge his attacks. It's a little cheaty and uh, it's just a nice little way to keep your V shield up and not take any damage. So, I'd recommend doing that. Alright, now it's going to go back to the middle. Wait for him to pop up. Alright, any second now. There he goes. Throw one grenade, get the ruin on him, and shoot at the same spot again. Switch to the lady's fist, and you can see there we've almost got him. And we'll go ahead and take out these guys. And now you can't actually damage the tentacles until they fully come out of the ground, which is kind of stupid. So just wait till they uh, come out of the ground and then take them out. Alright, Tyramorphus is being cooperative, which is good. Alright, take him out. And he should be popping up in the middle again. Or to the right, there we go. So basically, you know he's going to do his little uh, cry where he kind of looks up into the air and he can get the uh, shots on his crit. Uh, if he spawns in the middle there, which is uh, pretty much where he's always going to do it. Alright, there we go. Couple more hits, hide behind the rock. And I tried to switch to the Lady's Fist there, but uh, the bullets were already hitting. Uh, it's always nice to do it because you might, you know, hit one crit. Uh, I don't think I got one there. Alright, we've almost got him. This is a pretty good kill. Alright, now he's going to go to the center and do his cry again. And we'll go ahead and aim above his head. And uh, that's the kill. That was a really good kill. 
And uh, it's important to take him out before the fire phase because if he does this little fire phase, um, then things get kind of chaotic and it's hard to keep your beast shield up. Keep that technique going and you should be good. And you can see here we got the Slayer of Terramorphous Calm, which is, yeah, you always get that, but whatever, we'll take it. And uh, I almost forgot to mention, you can use the saves on PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, what you have to do is put it on your PS3 or Xbox 360 first, and then use the cross save or cloud save function, and then upload the save to your PS4 or the Xbox One. And then when you get on that system, you can go ahead and download the save, and it will uh, be converted. Anyways, this is Jolts. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be epic. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.